Welcome back to another video, everyone. Today's video is actually good compared to last week. Last week, I underperformed so bad on squat, and that's why I had been bummed out all week about it because, like I said, 402 top single, it was, it was horrible. It was like a 9, and the week before, 413 was like an 8, and that is closer to the most I've done on squat, which is 424. So this new, this new week, um, I wanted it to be like, I hate to say it, but like a new me. I really carved up Sunday, Monday for this session, which was Tuesday, this Thursday. And bench was okay, but I was more focused on squat because it was so bad last week. Bench, you know, is an improvement. And before I get into the actual, like the workout, I'm going to review, because it's a squat video, I'm going to review last week's squat video. Both, both my squat chest, both of my squat sessions last week with the Texas squat bar and the Texas power bar. And the Texas squat bar will have a comp plates with 363 on it and a five by three and that was also the 402 ugly single but that's not what we're, we're talking about. we're talking about squatting with the squat bar working sets so five by three with 363 and one more rep four by four but with 340 with the texas power bar and pound plates so i guess you know i hear people say like ssj bob and other people like squatting with pound plates is harder because like they, they're thicker and they're out farther so that makes it harder for to the center of gravity and i always thought comp plates were and i still think that but no matter what the argument here is that the Texas power bar is way harder to squat with than the Texas uh, squat bar. The squat bar is made for that. It's 32 millimeters and it's eight feet long. You know, longer makes it the weight farther away from you. And I don't know if that can make it harder, but it is longer. It's not short like a tiny bar like the Texas power bar. Seven feet, 28.5 millimeters. The tensile strength is very similar. It's 185,000 on the squat bar and 190,000 on the Texas power bar. But that bar is smaller, so that takes away... That gives it more difficulty, in my opinion. So here's the review of the bars and the squatting, and then we'll get to the workout after that with the voiceover. So here's last week's Tuesday squat session, which is a 5x3 with 363. I'm showing four sets of both. It's the 5x3, but I did a 4x4 with the Texas power bar. So there's the Texas squat bar with comp plates, which should be harder because of the comp plates. And, you know, the bar is gives you an advantage because it's 32 millimeters and it's like 8 feet compared to this one, the Texas Power Bar, 7 feet, and it's 28.5 millimeters, and it's just a stiff bar. And this is 340 for a 4x4, and that is like way harder than the 363 for a 5x3. So for years, the Texas Power Bar had been notoriously known for having 185 to 186,000 tensile strength, but now I just found out it's 190. So mine's 190 tensile strength, the newer bars, and the the Texas squat bar is 185,000. So Texas power bar is the stiffer bar and shorter, so that's why it's harder. But you can see right here, this is 23 pounds more, one rep less, and I mean it's way easier compared to 340 with pound plates. I mean I guess pound plates are harder to squat with. Um, they're just harder for squats and this is 340 for four by four and like honestly these were all super hard super heavy i've never done a top single oh no i have with this bar and the top single the most i had done with the texas power bar at home was 374 and it was super hard and before i had done that the most i had done was 413 uh, at the gym with the texas squat bar and comp plates so that just shows this bar is it's just really hard to squat with and it's a huge difference because people i know say that it's it should be easier it's a it's not a stiff bar it's a bendy bar but the texas power bar is considered a stiff bar it's just not as stiff as the ohio power bar and either way it's stiffer than this one the texas squat bar by four thousand tensile strength so that just shows and it's shorter so that makes the difference um i don't like this bar to squat with but you know when i'm home and it's all i have i just suck it up so i guess it's kind of a challenge you know doing less weight but more uh it's way more difficulty uh, it just gives me a challenge to you know match what i can do on the texas squat bar one day and it'll be way higher rpe and honestly that's the only review you could see the difficulty though. i just wanted to show the difficulty of heavier weight with comp plates of my texas squat bar not my texas squat bar with the texas squat bar versus my texas power bar because people just don't think it. they just think it's an easy bar and i really think it's way harder to squat with than the ohio power bar because the ohio power bar is really comfortable and everyone likes it and i really like it but to squat with like all i really like the texas power bar for is to bench and you could just see like 
it's just not comfortable. I don't look comfortable at all. And I was freezing in my garage, but honestly, it wasn't an excuse. The bar wasn't that cold. It's just, it, I don't like it to squat with. And that's pretty much my review for squatting with the Texas Squat Bar versus the Ohio Pot Bar. I need to include some top singles with the comparison, and I'll do that eventually. Oh, wait, to finish the review, <laughs> that is the review, but this is front squats too. This is the Ohio Power Bar versus the Texas Power Bar. There's also the squat, uh, uh, the front squat edition I wanted to do. And um, this is 165 for, I think it's a 3 or 5 And then I did 4x4 with the... So this is less reps. That was five reps, and this is four right here. Less reps, and that was way harder. It's hard to tell, but it was way harder. And it's just n never comfortable to squat with. So that is now the review. And if you're looking for an all-around bar, it will be the Ohio Power Bar. Okay, so that was the review. Now back to the juicy footage. This was Tuesday's footage. I'm uploading this Thursday, so it's not too late. You know, I've been doing some late stuff. Uh, I like to upload the same exact day, but life gets in the way. School gets in the way. Actually, leaving the house gets in the way. I had to go to actually go to Cal Poly Pomona, and it was a long story, long day. It sucked. It turns out I didn't even have to go. But with that being said, this was like an amazing, amazing squat bench day. More squat because, for those of you who watched last week, my top single was horrible. I did 402 and it was a 10, like a 9 or a 10. Let's just call it a 9. A 9 on a 402 top single squat, which is easy for me. I've repped that before. And the week before, I did 413, which was like an 8. So it's just weird. I didn't really eat the day before, so I was disappointed. I was thinking about it all week. So Tuesday, I was determined. And <clears throat> Excuse me. I was determined. So Sunday, Monday, I ate a bunch of pasta. All the pasta I had left, I just murdered it all by myself. With it was mixed with ground beef, ground beef and pasta sauce. So I just was determined to do good. So deadlift, you know, I was okay Monday, four fifty two single. It was very slow, but I got it. And this one, the squat, I was determined to do four thirteen at the very least. I did four oh two. But what I ended up doing was 418 and it was so easy. But the process of it was even easier because my jumps right here, that's 352. My jumps have been about 20 pound jumps and I don't like to do 20 pound jumps. because It's kind of big for me. This 374. And I was just so confident and comfortable that I was willing to jump this high in warm ups. Too. It's not even it's not even like the actual single working set yet. And I just knew. I just knew I felt it. I felt it since before. I thought I'm going to do good. And I was right. And this 396. See, it's just 22 pound jumps every time. And it was all really easy. I didn't even have a spot for me on this one, 396. I usually want a spot because that's heavy enough. And the week before I wanted it. And I think the week before that. So I think all the times I've done 396, I've asked for a spot. But it was easy and I didn't ask for it. So this one was 407. I didn't want the cop collars because I wanted it to be a little harder, a little closer to the. Well, I guess it makes it easier, but whatever. I wanted it closer to the bar. So that's a. 22 pounds on each side so 385 plus 4, uh, 22 that's 407 and then nando was like you didn't need a motherfucking spot and he just starts laughing and it was really easy now i look at it it was easy when i did it but man now looking at it it was it's just a huge difference so i just added 11 more pounds 418 and this is the most i've ever squatted in a gym in my life because i did 424 at my meet but that wasn't in a gym it was outside and it's for sure a pr for this gym f u pr and it was so easy it was a seven i mean it was probably slow but it really was a seven it was super easy and the working sets were last week was 363 for a five by three this one is 374 for a four by three and uh, like I, this was so easy i could have done a four by four i could have done a five by four or four by five that's how easy it felt and it was my working sets have been on fire even last week it sucked but it was still good my single sucked but the working sets were on fire but i'm just taking it as easy as humanly possible i wanted to considering how bad i squatted last week i wanted to do the same weight 363 for a four by four but i just was too in the zone too much energy i had two pre-workouts and you know i carved up the night before so i was like no nah, i'm gonna go heavier i'm gonna go 11 pounds heavier and do three less reps so four by three instead of five by three and it was perfect i was kind of i wasn't even disappointed i was just pumped at how easy it was so i have big goals for my next meet and what i want to do for squat so for those who don't know me and if you don't watch my videos and you just don't like follow me on instagram or if you just don't know me in general all i really care about is my squat because that's my best lift and i'm like i've always been comfortable with squatting i've always been good at it you know so that's why my meet in august when i got called for dip on my opener that's why i was so heartbroken by it because i just knew that's something i should have had 
And if I didn't hit depth, you know, it sucks knowing that. And I did think I hit depth, but if the judges saw it different, you know, they're right all up in my ass and they can see my hip crease. So if I didn't, you know, that it just sucks being told that you're not good enough on something. You know you're good enough. But now I look back at it. It was just my opener. I could have just, you know, easily told my handler, I'm still going up and I'm still doing 424 on my third. I redid it. You know, it's uh, I, it was my fault. I should have just went up from 385 and then just gone to 402 and not redone it. You know, it's my me. I can do what I want. And then 424 after that or 413, whatever. That's what I should have done. Now I look back at it. So it was no one's fault but mine on why I only squatted 402. So now on to bench. Last week was 254. I had done that for two weeks in a row because the week before, like I said, I didn't have a spotter, so I did it by myself, and it was hard. It got stuck, but I still did it. Last week, I had a, a liftoff, sorry, and it was pretty, yeah, it was okay. It was it was hard, but I did it. So that's 248 right there, right before the 259 I do today. And the 259 was just, now I look back at it, it was horrible, and it looks hard, and it felt hard, but I think, I, I really do think I just lost tightness, and it was a miscrew. Um, I mean, even if I didn't lose tightness and it wasn't a misgroup, it still would have been the same difficulty. But honestly, right here, I didn't keep my tightness. It looks like I did, though, but I didn't. And that wouldn't have counted in comp because the bar came down. So, you know, that's about the same way I did it in my meet. It was probably better in October when I did 259 and my butt came up. So, that you know, nothing to brag about on the top single. But it is more than last week at the very least. And it was a tiny pause. It wasn't like touch and go. And so what I wanted to do was squat 363 for 5x3 last week, and then this week do a 4x4 four four with the same weight I did with bench. So it's this 221 for a 4x4, four four, and last week I did 5x3. So I just added one more rep, one more set, one more rep, which equals one more rep total, 16 reps. And that was a good move because it was super easy. Like, this was all 7. I had no problem on bench. And 221, it's actually heavy for me. I know that's uh, not heavy for most people, but... I was planning on doing 229 or, you know, it would probably be 232 with a collar. But I wanted to just really get comfortable because if I go too hard on bench, I feel like that's going to affect me, like, getting closer to meet day. And it's kind of getting closer already in five weeks out. So I just wanted to really f focus on the top singles more than anything. And I'll go up and wait next week because this was easy. So I'm probably looking at a 4x3 with 232. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you got an understanding of the squat bar versus the power bar and squatting with it. I've done reviews on these bars before. I'm going to do more reviews, like I said. I like to say, like, I'm going to do a review and actually do it and have it be different than the other one. For people debating on getting a home gym and buying these bars or just, you know, buying Ohio power bar versus a Texas power bar or whatever. If you want a squat bar, if you're debating on it, whatever it may be. Um, comp plates versus pound plates, that was very similar to right now. Um, but I want to do more top single ones. Like, I haven't really done single comparisons. I kind of have with the deadlift bar one, but, you know, I want to do more of that with, like, power bar versus deadlift bar, power bar versus squat bar. So, with that being said, you know, I was pretty hyped with this week because I did 413, as you can see, 418, 418, and that's a FUPR, the most I've done in that gym, six pounds away from the most I've ever done. I'm planning on doing 440 in my meet. I didn't say in the video, I can't believe it if I forgot to say it. I'm planning 440, 270 bench. 270 probably won't happen, but I'm just planning 440, 270. And probably 45 deadlift because I'm super weak on that. Um, I'm kind of rebuilding because uh, I haven't been using the deadlift bar. But I may, I may, I have big goals on squat, like I'll say. I'm on 501 in July. I might just do 452 in March for squat or 463. 452 to 463 depending on how good I feel because 440 I feel like that's too easy but if it's too easy no big deal I mean all that really matters is national I just need 1131 to qualify and then nationals when the 500 for sure I'm gonna attempt 501 you know if I'm not injury free but that's the goal to do 501 in July if there's no injuries nothing like impedes me from doing it I don't have to go to Peru or something that's the goal for nationals and then the biggest goal of the year is worlds in november 1280 total to get there so hopefully i can qualify for worlds at national so qualify for nationals and nationals thanks for watching the video don't forget to like comment share subscribe and stay tuned for another video and don't forget to follow me on instagram